And I guess the point I'm trying to make here is not how do you get one software to do exactly the right thing. It's that we can spot when there's a mistake and it's always using the same method. You check over here, you check this calculator and you say, is that the right number in the right unit? And now you can see we have the right number in the right unit, still have the issue with the scale, which we'll get to right now. If I add that, I don't, it doesn't quite add eight meters to it, right? If I do calculator of um, 3348362 plus however long that that is 8.68 oops i should get approximately that number but i'm way off right 344 334 i'm 343 it's added on a lot lot bigger number than i was expecting in meters so there is a, still a scale factor and they just need to go and enter in this value here now, if I recalculate that, now I get the number I expect, C334844. So to get that absolutely correct in Revit, again, the way they have to do that is adding a new parameter over here. I'm trying to remember what the name of it is. Project Global Positioning Scale. I think they fixed this in the most recent version of Revit. It's actually a glitch. Let's see. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I really want to bore you about this, like uh, how they, how there are actually bugs in Revit where it's not quite correct. And there is actually a way to add it, but I'll have to dig up the exact parameter to store it in Revit.